white stripes also, you know, for me, were such a pivotal, like, band for me to really, like, they, they changed me, you know, Jack White changed me, and so did Meg, like, you know, when I started listening to those records, I, like, it, it, it developed me musically, I think, like, it, it changed my, like, you know, I kind of went from listening to kind of the stuff I was telling you about to listening to the White Stripes and listening to Modest Mouse and to Built to Spill and like early the Black Keys, like uh, Rubber Factory and Thick Freakness. Those records are just crazy. But, you know, the energy of Mac or Mac of Jack and Meg on stage together, like I will never forget that. You know, I was lucky to see them. I think like four or five times. And you know, it was every time I was just like, like could not like could not get it together you know and that you know I think Billy and Phineas because of their relationship and you know them having such like you know there's nothing like siblings you know I'm really close to my siblings and you have that shared experience that nobody else in the world has and to take that and to turn it into music that is being consumed by so many people to have that safety net on stage have somebody else who's there who you know is just with you i always thought that meg was so underrated because of that she was you know so her her ability to work with jack on stage is like few things i've ever seen and like i love all jack's other bands and i think you know he is so talented and you know what he does with dead weather and and um rock everything tour. else rock on tours and everything that he does it's all so good like i, I don't like want to discount any of that but there was never going to be anything like the white stripes. Like I, if I could be like, bring, like give me something, that's my dream. That's my dream is would be able to see them, you know, together again. Yeah. And it just, because it's just like, it's so innocent, you know, and it's so incredible at the same time. Like they just, it was so raw. I don't know everything. I love everything about it. <laughs> Well, it's funny. I, I was going to ask about Jack White because I know how much <laughs> we had this conversation many, many times. Um, but regarding the White Stripes, I, I feel the same way. I mean, I've been a drummer for all these years. And yeah. one of the things that really bothered me was, and it bothered Jack too, because I've read it in articles, yeah. when musicians would be like, what is he doing with her? Totally. Like, well, first of all, fuck you. And right. <laughs> one, fuck you. <laughs> Band, but she's the best thing for that band. She basically hundred percent like cool as shit accent machine that did exactly what she needed to do for the moment that he needed to play yeah. those songs. Like she didn't need. I mean, you know, there's a thing about uh, drumming which is really important on the overall, which is limb independence, which is this ability to be able to keep time and and play one thing with one limb while not messing up and playing other things with other limbs. And she didn't really have that. But that, <laughs> okay, and again, it's right. like. Who cares if if what the the bigger picture is? Then you know it's like you know, Mark Sandman from you know Morphine playing the bass with just two strings. If that's all he needed, then it totally works. You know, and, and the the idea that Meg was some like this lesser thing and and sh he should be embarrassed to be playing with her was just so ridiculous. And it, it discounted the fact that Meg influenced so many young girls to play drums. Yeah, and that is. It's such a like, badass. A force. Yeah, she was just cool. And I loved yeah. it. She, you know, part of their style. Everything about that band was important and, and special. And I would, I'd love to see them get back together. But as you probably are aware, that seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. But, and, you know, I don't, I, you know, I oh, never want to cheapen anything by being like, get back together, make it work when it doesn't. Like, if it makes sense and it should work, then great. But, like, I don't ever want to force anything. I also believe... And I think as both kind of being music snobs and being like very precious about like the bands that we love, I have, I always have this feeling, especially with the bands that I like, hold closest to my heart, that like, I feel like I get them. Kind of like I was saying about like young people who have that like sense where they're watching Billie Eilish and they think they're like, wow, like I get her and she gets me. That's how I also feel about the bands that like I love so much, like with the right white stripes if you don't get it then like it doesn't matter they're not for you but like if you do get it you're so fucking lucky that you get it because it is just so magical yeah. and if you let yourself just like see what they're doing and not try to pick it apart like picking apart music i think is such a waste of time because like not everything like i was saying before not everything is going to be for you but if it is it's so special you know and i think that like just move on if you don't care for it but like if you know it if it is for you, you're going to get so much out of it. And I, I don't know. I think the White Stripes will forever, ever, ever be that band to me. Even like, you know, their lyrics. And like, there's this song called Little Room. Do you know that song? 
Uh, I was working on a cover of it, actually. So that song is basically like the foundation of how I try to think of my career and how I, you know, if I ever get caught, like, being in that big room, I, you have to go back, you know, like, it's all about how you started all about the foundation. And so I like often think about that song, and like the importance of it and just the simplicity of it, and the truth behind it. Like, and those are the things the thing is, I love about Jack is like, and the white stripes and you know, it, it's just like so special, just like in like very in ways that are not obvious, but just will hit you and like stick with you. You know, that song has stuck with me for God, it's like, I'm so old, but like, you know, 20 years. <laughs> like, it's, it's really a fantastic. You know, you mentioned the, the lyrical content of it. It's, it's, uh, well, you know, it's, it's the generation of an artist essentially and, yeah. and, you know, keeping it grounded and all that stuff. And it, it reminds me a lot of um, when MGMT came out with their first, you know, the, the, the one great record that, that, yeah. that I don't know whatever happened after that, but um, well, I mean, what's crazy is that one great record will take you a long way. <laughs> like people oh, still want to oh, see that band because that one great record, you know, the three best songs of the decade. I thought yeah. on that record, you know, uh, and, and time to pretend is, is in, in a lot of ways, like little room in that, you yeah. know, this dream of wanting to be this thing. And, and again, the, the imagery and the lyrics of it, it's just so special and so great. Um, you know, you talked about, you know, artists and, and bands that like stick with you and if you get it you get it and if you don't eh, whatever you know I was it's probably no surprise to anybody who knows me and you probably know this too but like I was a huge fan of the Verve to the point uh -huh. where I had all of them around like like almost like the Grateful Dead you yeah. know well they finally broke up again for the however many time but anyway um I remember vividly you know like this being the early 90s and going being in that room and looking around and everyone had this smile on their face the same kind of look it was like you're cool you're, like, yeah. you, you understand because at that point it wasn't like there wasn't mtv it, it, or there was but it, it wasn't they weren't like a a, a a big band on mtv at that point so if you if you were into them you knew about them you were kind of in on some cool little secret and it was just such a special vibe and that's why i, I felt that way about the right white stripes as well a few other bands you know it's always yeah. we mentioned music snobbery but we're we're lucky to get in at the at the ground level but the reason why we get at the ground level because we care about this shit totally 100 percent. we're in <laughs> 